Hey everybody, welcome back to the Wolf Among Us Gaming Idiots here. I am RPG at Will and I am joined by Cassianova who is not paying attention. Huh? See? Exactly. Huh. We are on episode two, Smoke and Mirrors. There's probably going to be neither smoke nor mirrors in this. Probably well, not. maybe mirrors. Mr. Toad? Do something, Big B, before he completely tears up the place. All right, last time. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Hey, hey! You've got something on I your face. You up. Fuck are you talking about, you stupid cur? You're not as bad as everyone says you are. Please, Big B, promise me you won't tell Beast you saw me. I promise. Thank you for trusting me. Have you seen my wife? Have you seen Beauty? Come with me. No. Don't interrupt me, Miss Snow! You asked me a question. Don't change the subject. Don't, you don't, are to blame for the sudden presence of Miss Snow. Don't make sense. But that's what the music I is doing. He's I don't dumb. Care. But he said if word of this ever got back to him, if he ever thought you knew, or Miss White, he'd come back and kill my boy. I'm looking for the woodsman. Well, he's not here. Holly, you're out of paper towels and, uh, they're gonna string me up, Bigby. Like you said, it looks fucking bad. It looks really bad, but I didn't do it. All right, I got a hundred bucks for the first bloke that can tell me something about a girl named... Fuck, man! This fucking lapdog. I'm sniffing around this part of the town. Rich fucks in the woodlands need a shake down. Ain't that right, Big B? Now things are worse off than they've ever been. Well, that's not true. Right. We've had it worse, but not by much. Telltale Games presents... In association with people and things. Wow. And stuff. They get around. <laughs> well, hello, Big B. All right. Right. Snow died. Right. That. Mr. Wolf. Yeah. What was the thing that happened? Yeah. Yeah. You're making this more difficult than it has to be. If you just cooperate and answer the questions, you can go home. Maybe get some sleep. How are you feeling? Uh, I know it's been a long night for you. Shitty. You look like you could use some rest. Uh, I need to find the killer. I'll be better when I find who did this, which I can't do while sitting in here. We all want the same thing here, Big B. Not, you're keeping me in here. Look, I know what you must be going through. Really, I do. But I could use your cooperation. You don't know, you don't know anything. If you did, you wouldn't be sitting here talking to me. You'd be talking to the piece of shit that did this. Well, you stonewalling me like this isn't helping either of us, so why don't you cut the shit and... I'm trying to help you, Bigby. What is it with you cops? Always trying to empathize with people. I know this must be hard for you. Do you? Do you fucking know? Have you had a friend killed and their head left at your fucking doorstep? No, didn't think so. Your nose is bleeding. Are you okay? Are you okay? You don't look so good. 
Detective Brannigan? I'm Detective Brannigan. Uh, yeah. I know. I, I just said that. Is there something? Do you hear that? <gasps> Please. Please. <laughs> Sounding really intelligent, I do. is going on you should be no, thanking me just like it's just a memory time. wipe spell very expensive but it works the whole station oh. will forget the last 24 hours and everything they saw at the woodlands well hurry up okay i guess i'm teaming up with old ichabod crane ichabod and the headless horseman he's a headless horseman kind of guy I don't think that's how the song goes at all. He's driving on a horse, and then the horseman shows up and attacks him. And stuff. No. I think you're trying this. Well, I don't even know if the horseman is or is involved in this plot in this universe. So. Well, he is headless, and people keep showing up headed. with the heads on. Yeah, that's that's what I thought. No. <clears throat> for sure, because, you know. Uh, thanks for bailing sure. me out. Thanks for bailing me out. Just like Certainly. the other industries. We, um, we found Tweedledee chained up to a post. That was your doing, correct? Yeah. Well, I don't know why you detained him. Dee was at the trip trap when Snow was left at the woodlands, so he couldn't possibly be involved in this mayhem. Bluebeard's currently interrogating him, and he hasn't said anything useful. Yeah, and right. Big B, we have to tread carefully here. There's two of them, D and Dunn, and they've been snooping around every crime scene I've looked at. That doesn't mean they're necessarily involved in the murders. Well, yeah, but it means they're hiding something. Come on. Either that or they're the weirdest sneaker, earliest private detectives I've ever seen. I know what you're thinking, Which Bigby. It's been one full night and a slice of morning, and I already miss her too. You know, I never get more homesick than when one of us dies. And now, were it to be snow, I've never been good with these sorts of things. I just can't believe this is really happening. It's yeah. Hard. It's hard. Our stories used to be so simple. We had a beginning, a middle, and an end. But ever since we moved to this awful city, everything's gotten so confused. Did she, um, give any indication to what she was thinking? When you saw her last, I mean. I don't know why, but I'd like to know that she was... I guess fine, I suppose. She just told me to be careful. She was always fond of you, Bigby. Yeah. At least if I remember the conversation right, that's what she said. But... I don't know what else to say, Bigby. We have to... I have to put an end to this. It's been two murders in as many days. If we don't unearth our culprit, and soon, there will likely be another on our doorstep tonight. I'll get it done. Please, Bigby. For Miss White. I got it. Sorry! Didn't mean to break your door. Smooth. Well, I mean, maybe That's I did. That's not a very I good answer, know. is it? Come you on. probably did. Just tell me what I want to know. It will make things a lot less painful for you, in theory. Oh, were you planning on using that? 
I just thought you really liked rubbing your little sword. What the hell do you think you're doing? Hello, Ichabod. Sheriff. Bluebeard. I was just chatting with our new friend. You were supposed to wait for us to get back. I told you, if you want to be involved, you will do things my way. No violence! Someone closed the door. Whatever you say, Ichabod. Hello, Big B. I want answers, D. Oh, goody. I thought you wanted questions, and I was having so much trouble thinking of any good ones. Though I'd settled on, how's your head? You see what I've been dealing with? What are you going to do about this, Bigby? Shh. You're funny. I'm glad you have a sense of humor. I hope that means you're willing to cooperate. Snow White is dead. Look, I didn't kill anyone. And I'm supposed to just believe you. You were with me when it happened, dummy. I still have questions for you, D. Sounds like a personal problem. This is ridiculous. Let him work. He's got more experience with these kinds of things. Why were you at Toad's place? Looking for a change of scenery. Thought I might move in. Had to take a look around first, of course. Make sure everything's up to code and whatnot. Looked all right. I'm not fucking around here, D. Start with him. All right, D. Let's get to know each other. I know you enjoy my company, <laughs> but I'd like to be off. I don't think hitting him is really going to get him to talk, you know? No, that always works. What's he doing? We... What is it now, Big B? Look, I know it's unpleasant. You don't want to be here, right? I'm not trying to make things difficult for you. I just need you to cooperate. Once you've answered my questions, I'll let you go. It would help if I wasn't strapped to a chair. Fair enough. Just tell me what you were doing at Toad's place. Look, Bigby, we're not on opposite sides here. My brother and I are trying to get to the bottom of things. Same as you. Your brother? Where was he last night? I can't say. He could have been anywhere. Take your best guess. He didn't do it, if that's what you're thinking. Then where is he? No, I'm not sending you after my brother. Look, I answered your question. Can I get my stuff back now? What did you find on him? Oh, uh, nothing of consequence, really. Just let me go, all right? I don't have any answers for you. You always carry this much cash. I've got a lot of laundry to do this week. What's it to you? So where's your brother? Look, mate, I'd like to help. I would, but I can't tell you where he is. Last time I saw him, we split up and I went to find Faith. I don't know where he is now, but he didn't kill anybody. Just leave him out of this. You went to find Faith's what? Her apartment. I went to her apartment. That's no secret. You saw me. No, there's more to it. You said you were trying to find something. Yes. All right, Come on. D. What did you want from Faith? What did you want? Sorry, I can't help you. I'm not saying any more about it. Listen to this I'm saving that. Here. Here. Yeah, all right. Want to see a trick? <coughs> Funny. Look, Big B. This isn't going to work. Don't you want to find out what happened to those girls? To Snow White? Uh, let me handle this. Come on, Dee. What did you want from Faith? Sweet girl like her. Sweet? 
You think that girl was sweet? She was a fucking thief. Fucking sweet. Faith was plenty of things, but that ain't one of them. I mean, you know what she did for a living, right? She stole from you? Not from me. She stole from my boss. Hell, I ain't got nothing worth taking. Your boss? So let's talk about your boss, then. You're gonna get me in trouble, Big B. I can't answer any more of your questions. Come on, man. This is getting old very... Fuck, Big B. Don't make me look at that. Just put that away. Please. This is why we're here. Someone killed this woman, and we need to know who. I get it, I do, but I can't tell you what I don't know. Why don't you just tell me who you're working for? Look, you're not a bad guy. I believe beauty on that one, but I can't give you that information. That's where I gotta draw the line. There's no way Beauty would associate with a scumbag like you. What's wrong with me? You're telling me I ain't pretty enough? Yeah, we're real close. I thought this was supposed to be a murder investigation, but you're treating this guy like a fucking house guest, Bluebeard! And not getting any answers from him this way. Snow White is dead. One of us. And you're going to let this ignorant shit walk out of here in one piece. Out of my way! I'll show you how it's done! What the fuck? What do you think you're doing? Teaching him a lesson. Now pay attention. Stop this right now! You enjoying yourself? Immensely. Stop! What the fuck do you think you're doing? Snow. 